Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How about an answer? Um, assalamu alaikum. Why, when a person says assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, what do you say? Wa alaikum as Louder, come on, I can't hear you. Wa alaikum as Okay, wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Okay, one person tell me what we were talking about yesterday. Alia. Adam alayhi Good girl, Adam alayhi salam. Okay, can anyone... Can anyone um, remind us of what we talked about yesterday? Let's everyone say two two things, okay? Ali, Ali, Ali you said Adam alayhi salam. What else can you remember from the story of Adam alayhi salam? Okay, right, Hira. Um, okay, uh, Asma. Um, that Jin, I mean Shaitan, Iblis, tried coming in and. Um, um, he said that if I ever tried to like, um, if I got person, a chance, yeah, if I got a chance to make this person bad, then I would go through his stomach. stomach. Okay, Anissa. Um, the angels are created out of noon, which is light, and um, Shaitan and Jin are made out of smokeless fire. Smokeless fire. Okay, so we're gonna carry on now. Okay, go on here. Um, there's twenty-five. Um, um. Prophets mentioned in the Quran. Okay, 25 prophets mentioned in the Quran. Well done. And there's 124,000. Um, approximately, okay. Approximately how many prophets? 124,000 prophets. Okay, now look. Let's have a look at another question over here. Why do you think prophets came? Why did prophets come? Take a wild guess. Is it, is it because to remind, to tell people about our religion? Okay, anyone else? The prophets were sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the message that every single prophet brought with them was worship one Allah and follow me. Okay, worship one Allah and follow me. Okay, because what, were hap what was happening is people were worshipping different, different things People, some people were worshipping statues made of stone, statues made of wood. Some people were worshipping the sun. Some people were worshipping the stars. Do you understand? <laughs> so people were worshipping different, different things. Okay, Anissa, are you listening? So we got to the stage where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decided to create human beings. He created Adam alayhi salam. Adam alayhi salatu wa salam was laying down. Okay, and Shaitan, if you remember Shaitan, he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on earth. And then from earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, you can come and live with who? The angels. The angels. So was Shaitan an angel? No. no. He was a jinn. Quran says, Kana min al jinn. He was a, a jinn. Okay, but because he worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so much, do you understand? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, come and you can stay with the angels. Okay, so for example, it's a special person. For example, there's a famous person. Example, there's a famous person. And um, what do you call it? He's got his own people that are with him. Okay, and you do something good. And then he says, you can hang out with these people. Is that making sense to you? Yeah. So Shaitan, his, what was his original name? Can someone tell me? Azazil, Iblis. Before Iblis. Azazil. Azazil. Okay. Iblis came afterwards. Okay. His real name was Azazil. Okay. Has everyone understood that? So now listen, where we got to, where the story we got to was Adam alayhi salatu was salam, his body was created out of soil and clay. And Adam alayhi salatu was salam was laying there. Can someone remember how tall Adam alayhi salam was? Was it? Sixty feet. Sixty feet. Sixty feet. Masha Allah. Six zero. Six zero. Zero. Six and zero. Sixty feet. Very tall. So Adam alayhi salatu was salam was laying there. Okay? And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he decided to put the soul inside him. Okay? Look, the body without the soul, is that any good? No. 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 Why? 
for example, Allah give everyone a long life. But if the soul was taken out of our body now, what would happen was we would get buried. Simple. So the soul is most important. Okay? The body is made up of your actual body. The human is made up of actual body and the soul. Is that making sense? So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He blew the soul into Adam alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the soul, the soul entered Adam alayhi salam through his head. Okay? As the soul came inside his body, okay, from the head, when it reached his eyes, Adam alayhi salatu was salam was laying down. Adam alayhi salatu was salam, his eyes, they opened. Okay? And then as the soul came further down, further down and further down into his chest and into his arms, Adam alayhi salatu was salam was laying down. But do you think, do you know where he was laying down? Where do you think he was laying down? All this is happening where? Close to Allah. So many people say that Adam alayhi salatu was salam was laying in Jannat. Do you understand? Adam alayhi salatu was salam was laying in Paradise. Yeah? Jannat. So when his eyes opened and when the soul started going inside his body and started reaching his arms and hands, Adam alayhi salatu was salam, he could see everything around him and he could see that he was in this beautiful garden. Beautiful garden. And there's different types of fruits different types of things okay and look adam alayhi salatu was salam was programmed to know what he was gonna do so he knew that was food he knew that was fruit he knew that is beautiful this is beautiful so the soul hadn't reached his full body yet where adam alayhi salatu was salam he rushed and tried to grab the fruits do you understand so his soul didn't reach his full body. It didn't fill him up yet. Only half or three quarters and his arms were moving. So what Adam والسلام, did, he tried grabbing onto the fruits on the trees. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that this human being is, is always in a rush. He's always rushing. He's always in a haste. Rushing. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about the human being in the Quran, وَكَانَ الْإِنسَانُ Ajula. Ajula. Do you understand? He's always in a rush. So in that same way, Adam alayhi salatu was salam, he reached out for the fruits. Now, Adam alayhi salatu was salam, his soul had not filled his body. So what do you think? If your legs have no power inside you, what will happen? You will fall down again, won't you? You will collapse. So Adam alayhi salatu was salam, he comes back onto the floor again, and then the soul is filled into Adam alayhi salatu was salam. Okay? Now Adam alayhi salatu was salam is complete. What is he? Complete. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders Adam alayhi salatu was salam to stand up. Yeah? Adam alayhi salatu was salam stands up. Okay? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the angels, He says to the angels that everyone do sajda to Adam alayhi salam. You all know what sajda means, don't you? What does sajda mean? What? What? Which position is it? Is it after you go into the ruku? <coughs> after ruku, you you stand up. After you stand up, then you go straight into sajda. Sajda means is when your forehead is on the ground. When your forehead is on the ground. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he ordered all the angels to do sajda to Adam alayhi salam. Now, was Adam alayhi salam being worshipped? No. no. Who do we worship? Allah. Allah. Okay. So this sajda that the angels did was just out of the command of Allah. This was the command of Allah. This was the order of Allah. Allah ordered them to do it. And it was out of respect for Adam alayhi salam, not out of worship. Not out of worship. Now what happens? Listen carefully now. Where are all the angels? In sajda. In sajda. There's only one being standing straight. There's only one being oh, standing straight. straight like this. Not gone into sajda. Who was this? Jinn. Huh? Sajda. <laughs> Who was this? Iblis. Iblis. Who was this? Iblis. Iblis. Okay, 
So then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks Iblis that why didn't you go into sajda? Why didn't you go into prostration? I ordered you to do something. Why didn't you do it? Okay. Now instead of the shaitan saying, he could have said, isn't it? He could have said that you only ordered the angels because in the Quran it says, yeah, that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to the angels that go into sajda, he could have said that you only told the angels. Do you understand? And I'm a jinn. I'm shaitan. I'm not sure he wasn't shaitan then, but I'm a jinn. And I didn't, I didn't understand. I didn't think that I had to go into sajda. He could have said that. Or he could have said, I'm sorry, Allah. Okay? Sometimes when things go wrong, all you say is, I'm sorry. If I tell you to do something and you don't do it, and then what happens later on, you come back and say, I'm sorry, I didn't understand. I thought you wasn't talking to me. Do you understand? So in the same way, Shaitan, he could have said, Iblis could have said, that Allah, I thought you said that the angels, they're supposed to do it. But what did he say? He didn't say that. He stood straight up like this. And what did he say? He said that um, I'm not bowing, bowing down. Yeah, but why? Why? Why didn't he go down? Was it because he, um, he thought that because Adam Islam is made out of clay and dust and water, he thought that I'm made out of smokeless fire, so I must be higher in the chart. Yeah, he thought it's simple. The answer to this is it's simple. He thought himself, he thought of himself that I'm better than Adam. He thought of himself that he was better than Adam and this is the issue here now because this was the first sin that was committed this was the first thing first being that went against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that making sense mm -hmm. so he could have said that ya Allah I'm sorry because he had worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for so long but no what did he say my the way I think is better and Allah you don't know that's what he meant and what he was trying to say is, I am better than Adam alayhi salam. And he gives a reason. He says to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he goes, this is the reason you created him out of mud, clay. What use is that? Fire. I'm made out of fire. Fire is so much better. But look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides who and what is better. That's why we can't judge anyone. We don't, we don't judge anyone, no one. Even in the mosque, even your friends, you know, they might, you might not see them reading namaz. You might not see them reading namaz. You might not see them reading Quran. Do you understand? But it is possible that they do better things than you. Do you understand? So over here, shaitan, he said to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I am better than Adam alayhi salam. Okay? When Allah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to him that go then, get out of here. Go and get out of here. What could he have said then? What could he have said? Sorry. Sorry. For example, when uh, you lot make me angry, example, <laughs> yeah? And nowadays it's happened a bit too much because we're inside on quarantine, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? So, for example, if you make me angry, I'm giving you a simple example, this is not always the case, and I say to you, get out of the room. What do you say? Sorry. sorry and then what happens that sorry it melts me doesn't it i say okay it doesn't matter so in the same way when allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him go get out of here what could he have said sorry sorry that allah please forgive me but no what does he say he's still saying that no pride inside his heart and he's still saying no i am right in my thinking and i am better than adam alayhi salatu wassalam is that making sense? Yeah. So then he says to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, okay, if I am going to be thrown out because of this, because of Adam alayhi salam, then you have to give me time. Then you have to give me time. time. Up until the day of judgment. So he's alive from that day. Can you imagine? Up until the day of judgment, he says, I am going to stay alive. Give me a chance to live until the day of judgment and then i'm gonna take all the sons and daughters of adam into jahannam that's what he says 
You understand? Because where is he being thrown out of? Paradise. Well, he's with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, the angels. So he says, if because of Adam alayhi salam, I'm going to get thrown out from here, then you give me a chance. And give me a chance up until the day of judgment. And I will show you that I am right. I will show you that I am right. And I will take all the people into Jahannam. So my question to you now is, okay, in our free time, whilst we're sitting on our phones, should we be making TikTok musical videos? <laughs> uh, 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 should we? <laughs> because who are we helping now? Are we on the side of Adam alayhi salam or are we on the side of Iblis? Whose side are we on? So should we be sitting at home making TikTok videos, musical videos? Should we? No. If we are, then who are we helping? Because Shaitan's made a promise. He's saying, I'm going to take you to Jahannam. So if we're listening to music, if we're recording music, if we're doing all these moves, yeah? <laughs> if we're doing all these moves on TikTok like we see all the time, yeah? And all this, yeah? Then what does that mean? Whose side are we on? Who are we helping? Iblis. Iblis. And then on the day of judgment, he's going to say, I promise that I was going to take all these people to Jahannam. See, I was right, Allah. Very important. So if you're dancing to next step, <laughs> yeah? yeah? And when we go into the dining room, we get flying kicks on our face. Okay? <laughs> and people are spinning around everywhere. Whose side are we on, Anissa? Iblis or Adam? <laughs> Whose side are we on? <laughs> exactly. Yeah? So look, the point that I'm trying to make over here is he's made a promise to Allah. Now give me a chance and I will take them all into Jahannam. And then what does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say to him? He says, go, you will live till the day of judgment. And just like human beings, they have children, 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 children. He believes he has children, 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 children. So big shaitan, small shaitan. So he knows, you know, when you're sitting idle, like for example now, do we have an excuse now? So for example, before when you used to come back from school and I used to say, go read namaz, okay? And many, many times children say that, oh, I've just come from school, I'm tired. Have you got that excuse now? No. Okay, when I say to you in the morning, read Surah Yasin, and you say, I'm rushing, I need to go get school, I can't find my socks. And one of you is pulling the other one's hair and swinging from her head. You understand? <laughs> yeah, round and round, yeah? You know, have you got that excuse now? No. You're at home now. You're free now. You can do what you want. You can read. You can do tasbih. You can do durood sharif. Do you understand? You can read Surah Yasin. There was that thing that I told you yesterday. Three times Surah Fatiha. Three times. Qul huwa Allahu ahad. And 313 times. Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. When you say Subhanallah. Say Subhanallah. Subhanallah. When you say Subhanallah. There's a tree that's just grown in Jannat for you now. Allah. When you say Subhanallah, when you make that TikTok dance musical, you understand, <laughs> and you put it on live and everyone sees it, you're not getting a tree in Jahannam. I mean, Jannah, sorry. You're not getting a tree in Jahannam. You're getting a tree Nobody in Jahannam. Nobody wants a tree in there. <laughs> yeah. So, do you understand? So, the point over here is now you are free. Well, you can do what you want. You can pick up an Islamic book. You can memorize something. You can memorize Ayatul Kursi. You can do dua for your parents. You can do dua for someone. Do you understand? Now is the time that Allah is watching you, saying that He's freed you from everywhere. We can't go to town, which is a big thing. I don't have to spend on you, which is an even better thing. Do you understand? We don't have to go into shopping center after shop after shop. So we're on lockdown. But look, you're free from everything now, isn't it? Now Allah wants to see what relationship do you have with Allah. Okay? So anyway, after this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to uh, Iblis, get out from here. Do you understand? And he's thrown out of Jannah. He's thrown out. Okay? Then what happens is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to Adam alayhi salatu was salam, go to the angels. One thing that I just missed over here that I'm going to tell you again is, you know, when his soul was coming in, when his soul was coming in, when it reached his nose, he sneezed. Adam alayhi salatu was salam sneezed. What did Adam alayhi salam say, do you think? What do we say? 
Alhamdulillah. You remember Adam alayhi salatu was salam, he was given a brain, he was programmed. Adam alayhi salatu was salam, when he sneezed, he said Alhamdulillah. What did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say? Yarhamukallah. What do we say? Alhamdulillah. And in return, what anyone hears, what do they say? Yarhamukallah. So this is where we get it from Adam alayhi salam. Allah taught Adam alayhi salam. Okay. What does Alhamdulillah mean? All oh, praise be to Allah. All oh, praise is for Allah. Okay. And Yarhamukallah means that may Allah have mercy on you. Anyway, after this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes Adam alayhi salatu wa salam in front of the angels. And if you remember, the angels said, why are you creating Adam alayhi salam? There's no use because he's going to go onto the earth and fight. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows the angels. He says to Adam alayhi salatu wa salam, what is this? He shows him a tree. Adam alayhi salatu wa salam says a tree. The angels didn't know this. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows him a house. He says, what is this? He says, this is a house. What is this? This is a river. This is water. This is fire. This is this. This is this. Allah has taught Adam alayhi salam everything. In Quran he says, وَعَلَّمَ آدَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا ثُمَّ عَرَضَهُمْ عَلَى الْمَلَائِكَةَ فَقَالَ أَنْبِئُونِ بِأَسْمَائِهَا أُولَاءِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ That tell us all these things. And he went in front of the, he went in front of the angels. Then the angels said that, Oh Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know more than us. Is that making sense? Yeah. After Iblis was thrown out, after Iblis was, thrown out Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to Adam alayhi salatu was salam O oh Adam stay in Jannah stay in yeah stay here and enjoy yourself do you understand what I'm saying then Adam alayhi salatu was salam he stayed in Jannah okay and he was walking around and he was doing his things okay he was doing everything okay from here inshallah we are gonna start from tomorrow inshallah okay so have we understood everything we've done today okay i'm gonna ask you all one thing that you've learned today here are one thing that you've learned today um, that, um... today would be nice okay asma that allah ordered the angels to do sajda to adam alayhi okay now this sajda was it out of worship no no Respect. Respect. Okay, Aksa, what can you remember from today? Anything? Anissa? Adam alayhi salam soul entered through his head and when it came to, and um, when the soul entered his nose, he sneezed, but he said Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Okay, Hira? Anything? Okay, just two, three maslas, okay, before we actually go. If you're fasting in the month of Ramadan, are you allowed to give blood okay there's so many places that collect blood you have to go through a system over here as well down here there's a blood bank that comes every now and then in the state of fasting are you allowed to give blood you are allowed to give blood okay your rosa does not break but in the same <coughs> what you have to remember is giving blood will make you weak will make you weak so you have to make sure that after you've given blood do you understand you still feel okay and you know that you'll be okay, okay? Um, another thing is that if someone puts eye drops inside their eyes, okay, these are common questions. If someone puts eye drops inside their eyes, their rosa will not break. Their rosa will not break. Is that making sense to you as well? Okay, if anyone puts on perfume, are you allowed to put on perfume? Yeah, whilst you're fasting, yes, you are, okay? If anyone smokes, Okay, so you've got, a, you've got a rosa, you've woken up, you rolled out of bed and then uh, you rolled back in bed and you know you're fasting and you light a cigarette and you smoke a cigarette, okay, your rosa is broken, okay? In the same way, you know Agrabati? Do you know what Agrabati is? Or do you know what Luban is, what I burn every single morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, if someone intentionally inhales that smoke, Okay, so you've lit, an, you've lit the Luban, you've lit the Luban and there's smoke coming out of it. Then you go close to it and you breathe it all in. Do you understand? Not all of it, but you breathe it Why? in your teeth. Just so that it smells nice. Do you understand? In that state, your rosa will break. Your rosa will break. Okay, so these are some things. We talked about mouthwash yesterday as well. So if someone uses mouthwash, okay, and then they read namaz, and then they can still taste the mouthwash inside the mouth is fine. The rosa is fine. Okay. And just lastly, as we know, guys, Alhamdulillah, 
I run my own charity, which is called Help Foundation. Help Foundation. Okay, we're helping people, especially in Pakistan. We're doing programs. We're doing uh, what we're helping people over here as well regarding the coronavirus. Um, normally we charge twenty pound for one month's food parcel. Okay, but what we're doing is because there's so many people that are on lockdown, we're delivering parcels to people's houses, and we're doing each parcel for ten pound. Each parcel for. Ten pound, and it's got two weeks ration inside it. It's got loads and loads of things inside it. Um, if anyone wants to follow me on my WhatsApp, it's a zero seven four five six four zero four triple five, and the name is Khalid. Jazakallah, and I'll see you tomorrow, inshallah, at the same time.